The Texas Panhandle has been slowly ending, slowly, and it's decreasing a little bit in parts of western second state. Let's take a quick look at radar, and the western edge of the heavier snowfall is beginning to move eastward during the last hour, just a little bit, but uh, snowfall amounts up to 12 inches. By the time this is over, some parts of the state will have about uh, 12 to 15 inches. Obviously, roads are bad, and I'll have details very shortly. Thank you, Gary. Roads are bad. Snow plows have been working to keep runways clear at Will Rogers World Airport. News on 9's Jennifer Reynolds is there where many passengers have been stranded. Jennifer? Patty, because the airport has been virtually shut down since about 1 o'clock today, it's been pretty quiet up till just about a few minutes ago when we suddenly had some excitement. Out on the second runway of the two major runways here at Will Rogers World Airport, a corporate jet on takeoff trying to get out of here in this mess slid off the runway. Unfortunately, there were only two passengers on board. Both of them were unhurt. The plane apparently suffered only minor damage. Some other excitement also, after waiting all this day of no flights getting in or out of here, Southwest Airlines has decided to try to brave this mess. They are trying to get a flight out of here at this time, trying to get it boarded and get it out before things get any worse and get it to Houston. Now, the fact that Southwest can even get that plane on the main runway here is a testament to the fact that crews all day have been fighting the good fight. Snow removal crews have been working constantly since the storm hit yesterday to keep the airport open. They were winning the battle until about one this afternoon when they had to shut down the main runway and head back out with their snow plows, brushes, blowers, and scrapers. By mid-afternoon, the airport maintenance director had to give some bad news to worried airline officials. The storm was getting heavier. We're losing ground. Damn. We're losing ground. It's covering our center lights back just about as fast as we can clear them. The major airlines began canceling flights first. Most of them finally shut operations down here for the night. At this point, just about everybody but Southwest Airlines has decided they're not going to get any planes in or out of Oklahoma City. So if you're flying any airline other than Southwest, you're probably out of luck until tomorrow. Be sure and call your airline before you head to the airport. Don't call the airport. They have no answers. Call your airline before you head out here. Reporting live from the airport, Jennifer Reynolds, Newsline 9. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Oklahoma City snow removal crews were out all night and all day trying to keep up with what at times seemed to be a losing battle. All the city's snow removal personnel are working around the clock on 12-hour shifts. Every available piece of snow removal equipment is being used. The city has also hired four private contractors with heavy equipment to help move the mounds of snow. City managers will have to figure out how to pay for them later since the $100,000 snow removal budget was used up after the first two storms. Keeping the streets clear is an essential service that we have to provide in addition to the uh, convenience of our citizens and getting back and forth. The emergency vehicles have to be able to get through, so it's not an option to just not do it. Farney has no idea how much the private contractors will end up costing the city. Patty? Despite the best efforts of state and city crews, the roads are hazardous this evening. Newsline 9's Kathy Walsh is live at 63rd and Broadway with the story. Kathy? Well, Patty, visibility is very poor right now, and the roads are almost impassable. As you can see behind me, people are moving along the Broadway extension, but they are moving very slowly because these roads are awfully slick. Road crews are having a tough time keeping up with this snow that hasn't stopped falling all day. The State Department of Transportation had crews out ever since yesterday, plowing the snow that's fallen. They will salt and sand tonight. Officials say by the time this storm is over, snow removal for this season will have cost them $4 million. In July, the state inherited several main roads around Oklahoma City, and it took the department some time to get used to clearing them. We had 680 lane miles of new road to maintain in Oklahoma City, and we hadn't received our equipment yet. Now we are making arrangements to get private equipment in addition to our own equipment to deal with the storm. 
Private contractors are allowed to help with the snow removal because the Department of Transportation has declared the storm an emergency situation. 75 state employees are out clearing the road. They are running 40 plowers, sanders, and blowers. The visibility right now is down to about a quarter of a mile. There have been lots of accidents reported today, so state troopers say, please, if you don't have to be out in this, stay home unless it's an emergency situation. Reporting live from the Broadway Extension, Kathy Walsh, Newsline 9. Good advice, Kathy, and thank you for braving those elements to bring us that report. We've certainly established that it's no fun being out in this weather. And that has got to go double for those whose jobs mean they have to be out there in this weather. Take the police, for instance. The calls are coming in so fast and furiously that police dispatchers are having trouble keeping up. Our Mike Carpenter is at police dispatch headquarters right now to tell us more about what's happening there. Mike? Well, Patty, the relatively uh, calm background here could be deceiving because, in fact, it's been a very busy day for the police dispatchers. And, of course, uh, if it's busy for the police dispatchers, it's also going to be busy for the police officers in the field. Sergeant R.C. Bowman is in charge of things here right now. And, Sergeant, what, uh, what is the status for uh, police officers here in terms of what kind of calls can and cannot be handled because of the weather? Well, right uh, this minute, uh, the field lieutenants have asked that we uh, assign just the priority calls uh, and injury accidents. Now, priority call is what? Uh, a burglary in progress, a domestic type call where there's some type of violence and police officers needed right then. Okay, let's talk about the more common kind of crime, which is, say, an auto burglary. A person comes home, finds out uh, their house uh, maybe has been vandalized or burglarized, uh, a stereo taken or something like that. What, what are you going to tell them? Uh, tonight, we're asking them to call us back tomorrow when uh, the uh, Officers are able to get around a little bit easier because right this minute, uh, unless it's an emergency call, they're not being assigned those type calls. Sergeant, thank you very much. So again, uh, patience is going to have to be the watchword here uh, for people in Oklahoma City. Unless you have a very urgent uh, kind of situation, the police department tonight is not going to be able to do a lot for you. Uh, the weather here is priority number one. Reporting live from the Oklahoma City Police Communication Center, Mike Hardy, Amber, I doubt that you'll have to go to school tomorrow. I was wondering where you were. Let me see how deep that snow is for you, Alan. Get up here in the front, about right there. Here? Yeah. That's not as bad for you. No. It's up to about just a little bit below your knees there. Yeah. Okay, now move. Let me... See. Look how deep that spot is. I know, I dug it. And that's all the way to the ground. You've just seen it. That's about a foot, isn't it? Yeah. foot and a half? Boy, look how that stuff is piled up on our roof. Look at that.
what are you doing? here too long. Y'all get sick yeah, with this snow that deep. I it's more hard me to clear this Yeah, right. Don't yeah. do it. It's too much. We don't have a decent snow shovel. Can't do anything with that little bitty hole. Look at that. Well, listen to those chains. Did you did you see that roof right there fall down? No. That greenhouse across from us there? The roof fell down? Yeah, see that roof there? Uh -huh. That's laying flat, you know? Mm -hmm, like this. Oh, I... We we saw that drop a while ago. There was so much snow piled up on that little roof there that it just collapsed. It now it's, it's just hanging down, you know. Oh, well, yeah, but it's been about a couple of years. nine years, eight years. Yeah. Back in 79, it was like this. Our first winter here. Right when we moved here, it was about like this. Cool. We had snow all year. All year? Yeah. All year. It might be like that this year. Might take a few months for it to melt. What do you think about this snow? No, I, really, I want to get your real reaction. No, you don't want to get me. Well, yeah. Yeah. The I should have got you outside when you quiet, Wayne. What do you think about this nice weather, Penny? I think we have Randy to blame for this. I think he sprayed it on us. Hey, if you're talking about praying, you better blame Kim. She likes this stuff, too. Well, then I think that Randy and Kim should be burned today. <laughs> I like it. Well, then I think you should be burned today, right along with them. Like hey, look, if we're going to have winter, we might as well have it the right way, you know? Yeah. At least you know it's really winter. About every year when we have winter here in Oklahoma, you can't tell it because it's in the 50s or 60s. Seems like it, which is just the way I like it. But now it's in the yeah. 20s. Not like this. It hasn't snowed like this in 79. Did it snow like this in 79? Yeah, our first winter here, remember? How it snowed all year? May not have been. No, no, it wasn't this deep either. This never will melt away. And that's why it's going to freeze. Two foot of snow, one quiet. 